a liberal feminist East Side bisexual gal has gone viral on TikTok for relating her shock, her awe at her own reaction to going on a date with a bro. I went on a date this week and I felt the feminism leaving my body. I live on the east side of LA and if you don't know what that means, it's sort of like the artsier part of LA, you know, it's, it's people say it's like Brooklyn and New York. Like, so I go on dates with a lot of men and women who, you know, live over here. There's always a negotiation about who pays and that's great. I like to pay for people, all that. But what I will say is that I sort of fell into going on a date with the most guys guy I've ever been on a date with. And he's from West West, you know, Santa Monica. He's a bro, right? <laughs> a guys guy is usually not my type. Like I cannot remember the last time that I went on a date with like a straight bros bro. You know what I'm saying? But it befell me. It befell me in an organic fashion. So I'm on this date with this guy. And the thing about a guys guy is he's putting his card down. He's paying for everything. And I really just, it sort of activated something feral in me. I'm not going to lie. He went to like another bar and he went, he was going to go to the bathroom. So I was getting prepared to pay for our drinks because he's been paying all night. Of course, I'm going to pay for the next round. But as he's going to leave for the bathroom, he turns to me and he hands me his credit card and he goes, here's my card. Get us whatever. It might be time for me to get away from all these, you know, liberal snowflakes on the east side. I love it. I love this video. I love her take. There's a little touch of irony here when she uses that phrase at the end, these liberal snowflakes. But that little touch of irony is speaking to a big truth. And she's actually feeling it. And reality remains undefeated. Mm, love it. This is, the, this is the consolation for conservatives. The whole culture is against us. The principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness and high places that rule this world, they are all turned against us all the time. But here's, mm, but reality is still there. There is still an order to the cosmos. There is still justice. There, there is actually. And truth and goodness and beauty are not overwhelmed. They are not overshadowed. Reality remains undefeated. I love it. Think about this video. Some people are attacking her. Some very misguided conservatives are attacking this poor girl. I think I find her very charming. But they're attacking her because all she's saying she's happy about is that he paid for the date. She's not saying she liked the conversation. She's not saying he was good looking. She's not, she just, she liked that he paid for dinner. And when he went to hit the head, passed her his credit card and said, hey, could you order the next round of drinks? Get whatever. Oh, she's just a gold digger. No, no, no. This is a poor girl who deserves our sympathy and encouragement. And she's typical in this culture. There are a lot of podcasts out there. Most of those podcasts are people talking about their intimate lives, complaining about how America's racist or how religion is evil. Now, outside of The Daily Wire, it is tough to find creative, handsome podcasts that are both enjoyable and intellectual and extremely charismatic, and even sexy, some would say. Well, luckily, there's a great new Catholic podcast that I just heard about. The podcast is called Breakfast and is the perfect mix of entertaining and spiritual Catholic content. Breakfast explains the Catholic faith through the prism of food, drink, landmarks, and architecture. The Catholic faith is so interwoven in our culture that we often don't even realize it. The word breakfast, for example, comes from Catholics breaking the fast after morning mass. Did you know sushi tempura has its roots in the Catholic faith? I didn't know that. Or how champagne was actually created by a Catholic monk named Dom Perignon. I assumed it was made by a priest named Father Cristal, but I was wrong. It's, it's a monk named Dom Perignon. The show's creators saw the need for a podcast that is engaging and accessible to everyone of any faith or none at all. Breakfast is not just a random assortment of Catholic-related facts. It covers hard-hitting topics. It will make you ponder the important questions. Each episode of Breakfast is around 20 minutes long. Super easy. Download it right now on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Right now, go to genucell.com slash Knowles today. There is a lot to be stressed about during the Christmas season. Stress and lack of sleep can easily cause those pesky under-eye bags. Good news is you never have to worry about that when you have Genucell skincare. From now until Christmas, Genucell's most popular package has a special discount just for our listeners at genucell.com 
slash Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S. Treat yourself and your loved ones to the absolute best skincare in the world. Those troubling forehead wrinkles, fine lines, skin redness, and sagging jawline will disappear right before your eyes with Genucel's most popular collection. Genucel promises immediate effects. You will see results in less than 12 hours, guaranteed, or your money back. Genucel made Christmas come early this year. They sent down a ton of products for the entire office. Everyone is raving about their under-eye cream. It works wonders. Plus, included in every most popular package, is your free hyaluronic acid serum for skin hydration and restoration. You deserve to look and feel your best this Christmas season. Go to genucel.com slash Knowles right now. Get this incredible holiday discount. Every order instantly upgraded to a free express shipping. Genucel.com slash Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, today. Could you imagine... Could you imagine for the the normal people listening to this show how far our sexual relations have fallen? I don't mean, you know, saucy stuff. I'm talking about actually how men and women relate to one another. That this woman, for the first time in her life, perhaps, had a guy buy her a drink. And she's floored by it. This woman, what she's in her 20s. I don't know how old exactly. A guy bought her a drink and she can't get over it. She has to take to the internet to explain to the masses what this unusual experience is like. This is baseline stuff. This guy did not lay his coat out on a puddle for her to walk over. This guy did not send flowers to her home or her office. This guy did not, I don't even know if he opened the door of the car. He just bought her some drinks and dinner. And she just melts. Of course she melts. This, this whole attitude. You know, I'm an East Side feminist. I live in Los Feliz, LA, whatever. I'm hip and cool. I'm kind of a lesbian, you know? Like, I'm cool. I was cool in college. I'm, I'm a lesbian. Like, all, all of that goes away. And she, she's laughing about it. But of course it does. It's not even her fault. She probably went to some stupid liberal arts college that don't actually, doesn't actually teach you the liberal arts, that just encourages you to like wear silly sweaters and date all sorts of members of both sexes and study grievance and then move to LA and become whatever kind of artist she is. Okay. She had a disadvantage from the beginning. Is this the first time she's ever met some kind of finance bro wearing a a Patagonia zip up vest with some kind of button down collar who who even has a credit card? Is this this might be the first time that she hasn't met some guy who's just, you know, vaguely soy, kind of pumped full of estrogen, has an unkempt beard and asks her to pay for dinner. This is and so I don't I don't knock her for it. She's discovered something new. And you know what she, it's not that she's discovered the West Side guy with a job and a line of credit. It's not just that she's discovered a date. What a date is supposed to look like in the most basic degree. She's discovered reality. Just a little t- just a little hint of reality in a culture that has heaped mud and dirt and obscured reality. She's just seen like a little glimmer of it and she's excited by that. And I'm excited by that too. I encourage her. That's great. Keep going. Keep going, lady. I'm, I'm with you. I'm cheering you on. Man, what a great clip that was now. Whoa, hold up. Ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel and we will see you next time.